Educate me. Educate Listen. Me. Educate me on the Bible. Trying to start educate, me on the Bible. educate me on the Bible. Educate me. I'd like you to read from that. What is that book? Which one you want me to read from? I want I want to see the book. Can I see the book? No, can I see it? I'm not, I'm not, Your version could be completely distorted. It's the King James Bible. I'm sure it is. Let me it see. is the King James Bible. L let me see. I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm not giving you the Bible. Okay. And why are you not reading from it? I was. No, you weren't. I was. No, you weren't. I wasn't? God is love, and he doesn't say things like this. Oh, really? No, he does not. Okay. He created, okay, that, you, can he I, can created I, you in the image of him. He created her in the image of him. He created him in the image of him. So for God, you, God is love, right? For you, but guess what? That's not his only attribute. No, no, no. That's not his only attribute. But you're inciting anger. No. That is the opposite of what God is. Really? You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came with a sword. That's what Jesus said. He came with a sword. That's what Jesus said. There's no there's no way you can manipulate that. There's yeah. no way you can manipulate Actually, that. Actually, you can't. How? Because Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came with a sword. Where? You know what a sword does? It says in Matthew 10, okay. Matthew 10, Matthew 34 through 38. Okay. Why are you coming on a Friday night? Why not? At midnight? Why not? I didn't condemn anybody. Yes, I have no power to condemn anybody. Are. They're condemned already if they don't believe. No. No. They're condemned already if they don't believe. You are a hypocrite. How? You are a hypocrite. You're a Jezebel. Yes. Oh. And he's a fat wow. ass. Yeah. He's fat belly. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you are. Calling everyone who doesn't believe in you. No, no, no. I, I can see the spirit manifesting in you right now. I'm a Christian. No, you're not. Oh, no, really? you're not. You're not. I've been raised. I've been baptized. Have you been baptized? He wants to do this. <laughs> Baptism doesn't save anybody. Yes, I have been baptized. Oh, oh, Baptism doesn't does. save. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wow. Baptism doesn't save. It's repentance and faith. No. It's repentance and faith. No, it's Yes, it is. No, there is one Read Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. God, one baptism. Acts 2.38. Wow. Yeah, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I am so sorry. I know. No, no. I am sorry. You should be sorry. You are a hypocrite. You should be sorry. tell these people. You should be sorry. And I'm going to tell you right here what it says in the Word of God. It says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. I'm like, no. Repent. That's what it says. I'd like to read it. Read it. Pull it up on your phone. You got a smartphone. I am. Acts 2.38. And then you can go to Acts 3.19. Okay. But it's, you know what? What? Also, Go ahead. What did Jesus do? What did he do? He met with that Samaritan woman. Okay. Nobody wanted to talk to her. What did he do? Okay. What did he do? Okay. No. So for you to sit there and tell all these people. You know what he did? He told her to go and sin no more. That's what he did. He did, but he talked to her. Okay. And I talked to people too. I've been talking to people all night. No, I've been talking to people all night. How you doing? No, you're not. Please don't. Please don't. God, John 9, 31. God does not hear the prayers of sinners. You are wasting your Friday night. You what? should go home. No, I'm not. What are you saying? You should. I, I'm going home with my Let go. I'm not keeping you at bay. I'm not holding you hostage. Oh, I'm not I making you say, go ahead, go ahead. What? what? So you are that funny. God is not here to her. Of sinners. Sinner. John 9, 31. Okay. We all sinners. I'm not a sinner. So that gluttony is a sin. Oh. You are you a, a Christian? You a hypocrite. <laughs> there ain't no sin. Yeah. Are you a Christian? Yeah, I am born again. Oh, I'm born again. What's that? Yeah. Yes, I have been baptized. I didn't say it doesn't save. I didn't say it doesn't matter. Now you're putting words in my mouth, just like Jezebel. This is this is why Revelation 2:20 says to not to not suffer that woman Jezebel to teach and usurp authority over a man. No, I'm calling you. I'm calling that spirit in you. That spirit in you. Yes, that spirit in you. And that spirit in this one too. Really? So 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 are you still a sinner? Oh no. Oh okay. Well, hey, at least you answered it right. No no no. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. No. We're all sinners. No, we're not. When you're born again, you're not a sinner. When you're born again, you're not a sinner. You just said you're not a sinner. Now you're saying you are because she got in your ear. No, you're not. What's that? What is your I'm not glutton. That's what Satan did. Oh, no, 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 no. no. What is that? Because this is what happened. This ain't fat. In the oh. This is normal. Oh. What, because I don't have a six pack? Because I don't I don't work out because I don't worship myself? Dude. Are you serious right now? Dude. Are you serious? Yeah. Because I don't worship myself like you do? You worship yourself. That's why you got lip injections. I have lip injections. I work out. Okay. God is love. God is love. God is love. No, you won't. You have no love. No, you won't. You're not a Christian. You're not a Christian. You need to repent, Jezebel. Repent, Jezebel. Repent, Jezebel. 
Now, anyways, back to Acts 2.38. Yeah. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So he said that it's repentance, right? Yeah. It's remission of sins. You know what it means to have your sins remitted? Yes. What's that mean? It means you're acknowledging your sins. No, 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 no. Remission of sins. What happens when someone has their cancer remitted? When cancer goes into remission, doesn't that mean that the cancer is going away? Mm -hmm. So when your sins are being remitted, that means your sins are going away. Your sins are being washed away. But we're not perfect. I never said that. Okay. I never said that. Assuming that after you're born again, you shouldn't sin anymore. Well, you should. No, you but shouldn't. We're not, but we're not. But you perfect. should sin. We're you shouldn't want to sin. When you're born again, Jesus. can I can I explain that to you? Was only can I, one man hold on. Is perfect. You're not. You're not Jesus. Can I can I explain? Stop. Can I explain something no. to you? No. What is your religion? You're I'm a born again Christian. Born again. Okay, but you said don't go to church because I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say go. No, I didn't. Yes, now you're putting words in my mouth. No, now you're putting. No, because the girls. Hold on. Can I? Can I speak? No. Exactly. That's the Jezebel spirit. Because that girl said church saves you. Church doesn't save anybody. It's Jesus Christ that saves. A church doesn't save anybody. Go, you still have to go to church. No, you don't. Church is a hospital. We're no, it's not. Where does it say that in the Bible? We're all sick. No, the church is the fellowship of saints. That's what church means. So the ecclesia. It's the ecclesia. Because we fellowship at home. Okay. okay. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. You are not with Jesus. Why? Because I don't go to your little bail building? Oh, really? I don't go to your bail building? Yeah. Yeah. Really? That makes me not with Jesus, right? You're just inciting violence. No, I'm not inciting violence. You're the Word of God offends people. The Word of God offends. You're offended. You're offended. Why are you videotaping? Let's go to Acts three nineteen. I haven't read that one for you yet. Why are you videotaping people? Why? It's their reaction. No, because I need to. I need to videotape for my safety because I've been assaulted by Jezebel's like that spirit working through you. That's right. He loves me. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, well, he loves you enough to tell me to, to have me tell you you need to repent. You need to repent. One, for running your mouth. Two, for not listening. Three, for having that Jezebel spirit that you need cast out of you. Four, for coming out of the house dressed immodestly. Five, for having a filthy mouth. I don't have a filthy mouth. I'm just telling you you're wrong. Now, Acts 3.19. Acts 3.19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said, Unto the fathers a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me him shall ye hear in all things whosoever he shall say unto you do you think by talking to people like the way that you're talking to them you're going to convert them you, oh you think talking to me the way you are is is, is okay I, didn't I mean, it's, it's, it's funny how much hypocrisy there is between you guys. I didn't talk to you. So you guys can come in my face and yell at me, but I can't preach the word of God. All I've been preaching all night is that people can have victory in Christ Jesus. Not, victory over their sin. Not, and you people are getting offended by that. It's not that way. Yes, it is. You're offended by that. You don't want to have victory over your sin. You're not handling it in the way. That, that no, that's your opinion. That's, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. You're not speaking the truth because God is. Oh, really? I'm reading the word of God. I'm not speaking the truth? No. Oh, you're manipulating How am I manipulating the Word of God? I'm just reading what it says. Okay. You're taking... I'm reading what it says. I mean, I, you can't manipulate that. You're going about it the wrong way. That's your opinion. Why don't you do it? Show me how to do it then. Show me the money. Show me how to preach the Word of God to the lost sinners out here who need to know the truth of Jesus Christ. Because all I'm going to preach is that you can have victory over your sin if you repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That's what I've been preaching all night. But guess what? People don't want to stop sinning. They love their sin. They're in idolatry and they worship themselves. Do you go to Kennesaw State? No, I don't. Well, okay. Oh, you mean to go preach? Yeah. Oh, I should, shouldn't I? No. You I should. I have a brother who goes there. Like you. I have a brother. Oh, people like me? What does that mean? People who sit there and condemn people. Condemn people? Yeah. The Word of God says if you don't believe, you're condemned already. For God so loved the world. Okay, keep reading. His only begotten okay. Son. Okay. That whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. Right. But that the 
world through him might be saved. So you're keep reading, keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Keep reading. Okay. You're gone. No, keep reading. Right. It doesn't end there. Keep reading. I will read, That's I'll read a, all of John 3, 16. Then read John 3, please. Right. Keep reading it. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Okay. He that believeth that is not condemned already. See, he, he that, that believeth not, not is condemned already. Say they don't believe. Yeah, you know, you know what belief is an act of faith. Oh. You show that you believe through your fruits. Okay. And you think when people are coming up to me and cussing me out and they're claiming to be Christians, that's fruit and proof they don't you truly believe the word of God. Fruits are fruitful. You think that you're going to reproduce all these Christians the way that you're talking to them. You're not. You're not. So you should go That's your home. opinion. You should that's go your home opinion. Gather with your family. That's your opinion. That's your opinion though. And see that's why Jezebel sent here. Jezebel is sent to snatch the seed but, out of people's ears. No, but was it Satan? In the Garden of Eden, and didn't he quote the Word of God? No, he didn't. Not in the Garden of Eden. No, he didn't. Not in the Garden of Eden. No, he didn't. Wow. No, in the Garden of Eden, Satan said, "Yea, hath God said." No. That's, yes, he did. Pull up Genesis three. Okay. Pull up Genesis three. Okay, I know also, Genesis three. Also, do Matthew when he quoted the God's word. No, he's twisted it. He twisted it. He didn't quote it. He twisted it. No, I'm not. I'm reading it verbatim. I'm reading it verbatim. I don't have to twist God's word. God's word speaks for itself. I'm sorry. I, I feel bad for you. And you know what? You have a bad Jezebel spirit on you. Okay. Seriously, you do. On Judgment Day? No, seriously, you do. If you, if you, no, if you, if you call yourself... Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you Do you truly believe you're born again? I was baptized. I'm mean, I mean, I asking you a question. Seriously. Yes. Now, if you're truly born again... I'm telling you right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you have a Jezebel spirit in you. And hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Okay. And if you want that spirit out of you, we can cast it out of you. Do you want to be free of that spirit? Do you want to be free of that Jezebel spirit? You have to be in agreement with having it cast out. You have to be in agreement. Do you want that devil cast out of you? Do you want that devil cast out of you? Yes or no? Do you want that devil cast out of you? That's not true. Jesus said, can I go to Mount? Who else? Who else? Jesus said that he gave all his disciples, all those that believe. All, hold on. Let me finish. Can I finish? I am a disciple. I am a disciple of him. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I am a disciple of Christ. Okay, Here's what Jesus God. said. But Jesus God. said he that gave power to God. all those that believe to no cast more. out devils. After Paul, there was no more. He said he gave power to all those that believe to cast out devils. Are you a Baptist? No. Are you a, are you a Calvinist? I'm Church of Christ. You're Church of Christ? Yeah. So Church of Christ, are they cessationists? No, but are you? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm asking you because you said like we can't cast out devils now. And says so, yes, we can. Here's what Jesus said. Here's what Jesus said. Can I quote? Can I quote you what Jesus said? I would love to hear. Can I quote you what Jesus said? Yes or no? Jesus said, "Go ye." This is Mark 16. Go ye off into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name." shall they cast out devils. That's what Jesus said. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents and if they drink, if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Jesus said that those that believe when they follow him, they believe they have the power and authority to cast out devils. Now if you want that Jezebel spirit cast out of you, we will cast it out of you. Right here, right now. I don't have to touch you. See, you're not in the agreement because you have it. The Jezebel spirit in you doesn't want to be cast out. You need to repent, young lady. You're not born again. Because if you were born again, you would want that thing out of you. You wouldn't sit here and be in agreement with that spirit occupying occupying inside of you. Right. right. But you're in agreement with it. Right. You're in agreement with it. This is why Christ came. He came to set the captives free. You can be set free if you would repent and believe the gospel, young lady. But you don't believe. You don't even believe that we have the power and the authority Authority to cast out devils. Jesus said he would give us that power. He gives us that authority by the Holy Spirit. He said he would give us power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Young lady, you can have that cast out of you. You're literally the mentality of a Pharisee. Do you know what a Pharisee is? Oh, really? The Pharisees are the ones that did believe in casting out devils. You, you don't believe you're the Pharisee. You don't believe we can cast out devils. You're, you're, you're just proving yourself even more wrong. 
there was a moment. No, after Paul, there was no more. You can't cast out demons. Oh, see, you believe in says you're a, you're a Pharisee. The Pharisees don't believe in the gifts of the Spirit. You're not reading the context. The Pharisees don't believe in the gifts of the Spirit. You are taking it and making it modern. The context of this book, there was no more disciples that sat there and cast out demons. Oh, so you're saying so you're saying nobody can cast out devils now? So nobody can lay the hands on the sick and the sick recover? No. Are you serious? It's you're a cessationist. You're a cessationist. You're a cessationist. Yes, you are. Just like the Pharisees. The Pharisees attributed to Jesus casting out devils. They attributed to Satan. And that's what you're doing. You're the Pharisee and you have the Jezebel spirit and you need to repent. You're not saved. You are not saved. You are not saved. Yeah. You are not saved at all. Yeah. You have another Jesus. You are a Pharisee. There is no other God but one. You are the Pharisee. I'm sorry. You are the Pharisee. He is the Alpha and Omega. The beginning. I thought I thought the Church of Christ still believed in the gifts of the Spirit. You obviously don't. I don't believe in casting out demons. Well, because you have demons. That's why. Because Jezebel doesn't want to come out of you. That's why. That's why, young lady. Everything that you say, you're going to be held accountable in the judgment. That's right. And every Everything you say, you're sitting here saying that we don't have the power to do this. That's that spirit speaking through you. That's that spirit speaking through you. No, you're not. You're against the word. I just read you what Jesus said. And on that note, we're going to close on this, friends. I don't care what any Pharisee hypocrite like this woman right here says. In Jesus Christ, we have victory and power over our sin. We have victory and power over devils and demons. We still have that power today to cast out devils, to lay hands on the sick. We still have that ability today as believers. Jesus said these signs would follow them that believe in me. We still have that power today by the Holy Spirit. Not in our flesh though. Not in our flesh, but in the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, friends. So you must repent. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Call upon him today, friends, because if you don't, Jesus said, if you don't repent, you shall all likewise perish. Luke 13, 3 and five. That's what we should be quoting. Not Luke Bryan lyrics, but the gospel of Luke. The gospel of Luke. Because that has salvation for your soul. Nothing else does. Hallelujah. God bless you all in Jesus' name.